Hey bestie! Um, my apartment is a mess. And my roots are grown out, but we're not talking about that today. I need to clean my apartment. It looks okay from the view that I'm showing you right now, but I'm about to show you around and it is frightening. I've been putting off cleaning my apartment for a little minute. I think I'm going to do like level two clean. I'm not just gonna spot clean. I'm gonna actually like clean the tub, clean the toilet, mop and sweep and vacuum the carpet and everything, but um, it needs it desperately. It's screaming for help. This is the kitchen. I don't even, don't even look at the floors. It's his fault. <laughs> this is what the kitchen is looking like. I have dishes in the sink. There is just stuff all over the place. I made pasta last night at like 3 a.m. Lucky is the reason for all of the pillows on the ground. And actually, you guys, he literally, he didn't do this on purpose, but this is basically his house. And this is his couch and he ripped it up a little bit. So honestly not in the headspace to get a new couch. So I think I'm just gonna cover it up. I really have a lot of Christmas decor videos coming and I wanted to get a new couch specifically for that. But honestly, I'm just gonna cover it up and you guys are just gonna pretend like you never saw that. Random bags of food. This is stuff that I need to clean. This is the room. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm pretty sure he just grabbed something. Yeah, this seat. This wouldn't happen if my room was clean. <laughs> These are clean clothes. These are dirty clothes. <laughs> Random deodorant, like stuff on the floor, girl. Stuff up there, like it's just a mess. And then in the bathroom, <laughs> it's also train wreck in here. Literally, literally what is the towel? What the dog doing? So what I'm thinking of doing is normally I do the floors last, meaning I sweep, mop, and vacuum last, but it is pretty late. It is 7.09. And I don't want to wake up my downstairs neighbor, so I'm thinking of doing the floors and the kitchen and the living room first. So I normally try to tackle the living room first, but I'm going to speed run it. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. It's like this uproot clean thing. I actually got this idea from Drew Gooden. Drew Gooden has done a couple of ad videos that show up on his Instagram, and this is one of them. And I actually have a little version of this for my couch to de-shed it. So this is what it looks like on the end. I'm literally just going to scrape all of the hair off of my carpet to prepare to vacuum because the vacuum doesn't get up all of Lucky's hair. So without any further ado, let's start in the kitchen. I'm going to clean the dishes that are in the sink. I have clean dishes that are in the dishwasher. I'm gonna surface clean, and then we're going to do the floors and the vacuuming. Let's get into it. <laughs>
guys, phase one is finished. I did all of the dishes and I have all of the ones I just washed drying over here. Y'all, my favorite Halloween wine glass broke and it cut my hand. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's a little scabby now. This is the cost of seasonal decor. I'm so sad, I really loved it, but I still have the black version. She is alive and well. She's actually older than the other one, so I'm so shocked that one broke first. But anyway, we are going to tackle the carpet and the hardwood floors. We are going to use our handy dandy uproot cleaner and the vacuum. Let's get into it. racing the clock right now so I'm going to vacuum before my apartment's quiet hours which is in the next 30 minutes and I put everything on the couch I put everything basically off the floor except for the source himself <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and then afterwards I'm gonna take everything put them back in the carpet areas and then do with the hardwood floors vacuum and mop oh. Honestly, I was planning on not getting a couch until I move, which is not until like late next year. And I was just gonna hold out because I didn't see a point in paying for a new couch when I'm already preparing to move into my next apartment. Mentally, financially, all of the things. But honestly, y'all, the more I was de-shedding the couch, the more I just wanted to throw it away. Like, I know it probably doesn't look that bad on camera, but like, it's discolored and Lucky sits on this couch a lot so it has become discolored over time. I honestly don't even know how to like shampoo or clean this couch um, because nothing is removable. I found another couch on Wayfair that was like 600 bucks that has removable covers and everything and I think the whole couch is washable and this is not like a washer friendly couch. Like I feel like if I wash it there's gonna be mold inside of it. Honestly, I might just toss it. Obviously, I'm going to keep it for now until I buy the new couch, but I think I'm just going to make a deal with myself that if I don't buy a couch by Christmas time, like when I start making my Christmas videos around mid-November, then I'm just going to have to toss it because honestly, I, it's just, it's not giving what it needs to give. It's giving lived in and dirty, and I don't want that. And it's actually not a dirty couch. It's just Lucky, Lucky has dominated the couch, and I have no way 
of properly washing it without feeling like it's gonna like get disgusting. I don't know what else to do. Hi, it's your fault. Thanks. And the Wayfair couches are actually pretty affordable in comparison to other couches that are like a thousand plus. I think I'm just gonna get a new one within the next month or two. But she did good for her two years of service. And now we're going to move on to the rest of the apartment. The world on me. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey. Catch a break.
finally finished my entire apartment cleaning, resetting, and I even did a little bit of fall decor. So I want to show you guys my clean apartment autumn vibes tour. These are basically just the fall decorations from last year, just kind of re-jumbled and reorganized because you guys know my heart and mind are set on Christmas right now. But it's still giving cozy autumn energy in here, so I wanted to show you guys everything that I did for decor and also the clean finished product because God knows this took me an unspeakable amount of time. I don't even have braids anymore. I'm bald now. This is the living room and kitchen area. This area in the corner is where I keep my mixers and everything for my bar drinks. I replaced the moss with these fall autumn balls that I got from Target last year. Got a little pumpkin from Target as well. Honestly, everything in this kitchen is from Target. This is from Target a couple years ago. I actually really wanted to replace these oil and vinegars with skull bottles but they broke you guys so you guys saw when i was doing the dishes i did take a couple casualties on some fingers i broke a glass while i was washing it and some of my fingers suffered this is the glass in question it was a clear version of that skull hand and i'm super sad because i really loved it but hopefully i can find some next year but i still have one soldier remaining then panning into the living room you guys this is the kitchen area that goes into the living room i have this little plant set up i don't even know what it's called this it's just like basically autumn leaf set up obviously it's fake it's from target last year and i think they sold it this year as well and then this is the living room as you guys can see it is pretty dark right now it's almost 7 p.m so that's why it's dark as you guys can see where lucky's area is i do have a candle burning and some decorations over there the two pumpkins on the end are from target this one is from home goods and then i have some beads inside of that wooden tray from hobby lobby and then this is my favorite candle i have two of these burning right now this is salted butterscotch from bath and body works then for the couch you guys know how i feel about this couch i really just want to replace it but this is what we're working with for right now i have these little pumpkins these are from walmart from last year i got them on clearance for like three bucks this is the little bar area i didn't do anything fall related except for these wine glasses are little ghosts from a couple years ago from home goods that i had and you guys can see as i'm doing this tour i literally have pajamas on this pompous grass is always here but it's definitely giving fall vibe i think the only time i take it away is during christmas time and this was from amazon actually and the vase was from home goods and then going over this is artwork that's always here but it's definitely giving autumn vibes and then this is my living room situation right here this is just a fireplace background that i found on youtube hello and then on the bottom i have some pumpkins down here this garland is from michael's last year these pumpkins are from home goods and these candles are also from Home Goods. So this is just the living room setup. Now going into the bedroom, I finally made my bed after an embarrassingly long amount of time. I have this. I saw someone do this on YouTube recently. So this is from Casa Luna. They put it across their bed like this. I think it was actually a forever mood reel now that I'm thinking about it <laughs> by Jackie Aina. This is from Casa Luna. I've seen a lot of people do this besides her and I really like the idea because I actually have two throws. This second throw that I draped over it is the Barefoot Dreams one that I've always wanted that you guys saw in my birthday haul. Honestly, everything from this bedding is from Target except for the Barefoot Dreams. And then I just kept my decor and everything the same there's nothing crazy in here for fall except for this candle again another salted butterscotch it's my favorite i have another ambiance playing with the fireplace and the rain in my room i really want to get my tv mounted but the more time that passes the less of a priority it is to me maybe one day though but it's on the desk for now and then i have my nintendo switch stuff over here i reorganized these envelope holders which i'm super excited about because they were very cluttered now i just have a bunch of games in there and some planners back there my desk supplies i have a hand massager autoimmune girls arise chronic pain relief rise if you have arthritis this is a game changer <laughs> anything that i love from amazon i will leave a link in the description and the hand massager is on there it's a game changer honestly i just used it last night if anybody has arthritis in their hands go get you some but this is the desk setup and that's pretty much it for the room i did clean off my perfume storage situation and everything that's down there i need to film a perfume haul on now going into my bathroom i only have one little fall foliage in here but i did clean in here my storage system over here it's always organized chaos but this is what it looks like right now but these are the fall vibes oh and for the soap you guys i got this soap from bath and body works last year 
autumn s'mores for the fall season. But that concludes my autumn reset for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me transform my apartment for fall and cleaning and getting everything together because it was a hot mess before this. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.